What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? We're still in this COVID-19 world era. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it anymore. So as you all know me, I try to do my best to help out wherever I can. Today is no different from that. Got a phone call from a good buddy of mine, Kelvin. Uh, if you go back a couple of videos, you'll see that we tried to support his restaurant, Tesla Community, right? He um, knows a buddy of his that has a clothing company and they're actually making these masks. So this video is kind of, um, you know, go out there and kind of let it be known that he's has masks available, fully donated. He is not asking one cent for this. I'm going to go drive up there to a location in Markham. So he's actually asked me to um, model these masks. So I guess we're going to do some headshots. Now I've got the beard. So he said it's fine. Again, he just wants it headshot. So you can see I've really done up my hair. No haircut. It's been a month and a half. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Usually I got the part in here and everything. But anyways, I think it did a pretty darn good job with this not bad eh for not having a haircut in so long so anyways enough of the blah 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 let's hit the road go for a drive i'm also going to get a bunch from him that i'm going to give out to a lot of the homeless now these are not medical grade so i just want to stress that they are to protect you if you cough uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll let him discuss it and explain what they are so let's get driving Hey guys, I'm back here. Like I said, I've made my drive out through and now I am here at East Star and I am here with Tim. And uh, as I mentioned, he's doing the masks and they're all going to be donated. So I'm going to give him a second here to talk about it. So Tim, so tell me about it. Like, uh, why are you doing this first off? Uh, East Star International is a Toronto based apparel uh, manufacturing. And we're so proud to just help uh, uh, to fight the coronavirus here. We want to help the homeless uh, shelter people to have a chance to have a mask and uh, protect themselves. And you also mentioned about for the women's shelter too? and Yeah, women's shelters and the Red Cross and also homeless. Um, and you're going to let us see how you're making the production of the mask today? Sure, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Because that machine, I, I, I saw that machine already and it's super cool. Full electronic, you can do about a thousand an hour. Yes. You were saying? Yeah. Wow. So great work over here. Going to get to more details with him. We're actually going to go do that photo shoot. I know I got this beard, but uh, my buddy Calvin, who doesn't want to be on camera, mm. is somewhere behind me. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> wants to uh, do a photo shoot, which are gonna go up onto uh, Tim's uh, page. So, um, and then again, I'm gonna be hopefully helping work with him too and doing stuff to get him, like I said, to the homeless, uh, dropping off some food and some masks, which is super cool. So Tim, thank you. And uh, let's get on to the shoot. All right, guys, here we are in front of the machine that Tim was discussing about earlier. And I'm gonna let him do a brief discussion about it and talk about it and how much it can produce and how it was all set up. Hi, uh, this is a new Gerber machine and uh, we designed a special uh, clothes mask and uh, we can do almost a wind sound the masks uh, an hour here. <laughs> Doing the full cut and everything. Yeah, you see here. Oh, wow. So all the ones that are now yellow are completed. So once they're fully cut, are they ready to go or is there another step to do? They're ready to go. They're ready to go. Wow. <laughs> all right, guys. So here I am now at the uh, sewing machines. 
So this is where the workers are working hard and Tim actually is going to talk about what they're doing because this is a different side project. This is more the medical uh, mask. The other ones, like I said, it's going to go out more to the homeless and, and the shelters and this is more the medical that can be used in the uh, hospitals. All right, Tim, floor is yours. Our e -Star team is so grateful and proud to manufacture and the mask for the frontline workers. So all these people here, so they can stay home to collect the free money from the government, but they don't. They come here to work, they come to here to contribute, and they come here to help the frontline workers. So I'm so proud of them, and I love you guys all. Thank you very much. And there they are all working away down here, making these masks to go out. These are the more uh, difficult ones. And Tim, for these ones, how many per hour can each person produce roughly? So we only can do maybe um, six to eight pieces per hour. And you mentioned something about copper, if I remember that there's a copper in there to help. Yeah, uh, uh, it's a copper yep. treatment on the fabric. It's for the real patient. So there you go, guys. So there's two parts of the whole process here that they're putting together here at E-Star that is helping uh, Ontarians, Torontonians uh, in the help for this, uh, this terrible disease that we're all fighting together, all coming together collectively. Like you said, these workers that are here, they could be home, um, but they're not. They're out here trying to do what they can for everybody. All right, guys, so you saw everything in the uh, shop back there and how the production is working to make this happen. Um, Tim and his generosity and everything with, from E-Star, um, I thank you and uh, all my followers also thank you for what you're doing. And uh, he's going to take a quick moment to, uh, to show you what the final product actually looks like. So each of these packages have how many? Uh, we have plenty of each bag. Twenty in each one. So although although they look simple and easy, you saw the machine work that it took to get going with them. So there you go. I hope you understand. No handshaking, anything at this point. But uh, I, I do. I respect you a lot. And again, I say thank you to your team. It's it's our pleasure. And all the workers that we saw outside, I also thank them for staying on the job and doing what they can to help the community. Thank you. Big thumbs up.